Hello YouTube and this evening I've got this radio that I've got to fix. So it's a DAB radio made by Bush and it's currently playing a CD. Um, I haven't got the volume up but it does play it. I haven't got the volume up because otherwise this video will get copyrighted. But if you watch carefully and I'll skip forward if this is long and boring. But eventually the display resets and it goes into uh, SD card mode. Um, so this is that's the fault that's with it. So we we'll wait for that to happen. And there we go. The display is gone, and it goes into SD card. So there's no read in the SD card. There's no SD card fitted, so it failed. So it looks like the process is reset or glitching the power supply to make the process reset. Something along them lines. It's not the same as when you first power it up, because when you power it up, it turns onto the DAB radio. So we'll take it apart and have a look inside. Right, I've now got it apart. So I've taken the SD card module off here, and it's now flapping around down here, all connected up still. Um, we've got the back modules here, so this is just an auxiliary input, so that won't be that. Power supply is underneath here. And we'll have a quick look at that. It just looks like a fairly standard switch mode power supply. I don't know what the supply voltage is yet, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. And that goes down with the board here, 25 volt cap on the input. Uh, this is the main logic board. This is clearly the DAB radio. Uh, CD player supply is here, and the data is here. So that is going to be a motor driver trip for the actual uh, motors on the actual CVCD bed. Um, and that's probably the processor for it there. And that's the main board, like I said. And we've got an auxiliary board for the buttons and the display is down there. Probably won't be that. I think the first thing to do is give a probe around these signals, the power supply, sort of for this um, this area. We might have a look at the supply coming in as well. Just make sure that's clean so that we can see if, if there's any glitches or anything upon the reset. So I think I found something. If I look at the, this is currently playing a CD. This is here. This is the 12 volt line to the amplifier. And if you look on the scope, you see the 12 volt line is actually oscillating away quite nicely. That should be nice and stable. Now I have triggered it and when it crashes, we get a drop of the 12 volt line down to five volts. So that's not correct. So there was quite a bit of movement for a power supply there. So this 12 volt line is, comes from a regulator up here. That is fine. That's a nice stable supply. It starts getting noisy here and then it gets noisier and noisier as you get further through. So you go through a diode, then an inductor, then a capacitor, and then the amplifier. Well, this is, an amplifier. this is basically a sled driver for the motors and stuff. So there's a cap here which smooths the supply. So I suspect maybe that cap has gone uh, low capacitance or high resistance so I'm tempted to either tag a cap across the supply or tag the cap out and just change it but there's definitely noise on the 12 volt input of that All right spot the bodge um, I've just tacked some capacitors across the inductor which uh, feeds the amplifier and it seems to be working now so I'm going to change that cap that one there and I think that might fix it. So uh, this is good news. This may look like a bodge, and it is. But, so what I've done, um, I need my pointy thing. So this is the cap that I believe has gone uh, bad. Uh, I've left that in circuit because it looks like a complete pain to get this board out. So I don't think it will cause a problem being there. Um, I don't think it's gone short, it's just gone high resistance in terms of ESR, so equivalent, equivalent series resistance and probably the capacitors lowered. So I put a capacitor this side of the inductor. I don't think it makes much difference what side it is. because, um, And I've got three, induct three capacitors lined up. So to give, this is a 470 microfarad capacitor and these are 220 microfarad each. So it's a lot more capacitance anyway. And it does appear to work. I've put some captain tape on the board to insulate it and it is hanging over the edge in a rather art deco fashion, but it will fit in the case. 
So we'll stick it back together again and it is now all working. So uh, yeah, I'll stick it back together and that is this focus fixed in a fashion. Right, thank you for that video and I shall see you again next time.